What's up, it's Chris Herio. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out celebrities that have made the craziest body transformations. There's been a lot of times where celebrities and actors have had to lose weight or build a lot of muscle in a short amount of time to be able to get in character and play a role for a movie. And today we're gonna to see which celebrities did it the best. I was able to find some information on how some of these celebrities made these transformations. I don't know how accurate that information is, but I do know that the transformations speak for themselves. So if you're ready to get motivated, let's get started. All right, first up we have Brad Pitt, an absolute legend. He's been in some of my favorite movies like Fight Club, Snatch, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Troy, just to name a few. And I'm pretty sure in all those movies, he was shredded. Although his weight fluctuated as well for the different movies. For example, when he was in Fight Club, he was still shredded, but he was significantly lighter than when he was in Troy. And the cool thing about Brad Pitt's physique is that it was very attainable. It was also very inspiring to a lot of people. I feel like the movie Fight Club got a lot of people into working out, probably fighting too. Let's go ahead and check him out in a couple scenes. Yo, Brad Pitt was such a badass in this movie. It's crazy because I'm just remembering as I see Edward Norton in this movie, he also had some pretty crazy body transformations for some roles as well. All right, let's catch a frame right here so we can check out his physique. And as you can see, what really makes his physique is that he has well-developed shoulders, low body fat percentage, and he's working out his traps. This is gonna give you that upside down triangle look. And because he has a low body fat percentage, he's just gonna have a lot more muscle definition. But as you can see, he's not that big. He actually has an athletic build that just shows that you don't need to weigh like 200 pounds to have an impressive physique. And the lighting is definitely helping. But yeah, gotta give credit where credit is due. The man's shredded. He's definitely doing his pull-ups and push-ups. Another thing is that his body is actually like very proportionate. Nothing in his upper body is necessary necessarily overdeveloped or underdeveloped. The thing about Brad Pitt is he has really good genetics. If you've seen him in other movies, you can see that even when he's skinnier and younger, he still has very good muscle insertions. And that actually plays a huge role in how good you look overall, aside from how hard you're working and how good your diet is. But let's check out his transformation from the movie Troy, which is a film that he made five years later after Fight Club. Okay, yeah, in Troy, you see a huge difference in muscle development. He's way bigger in this movie. It looks like he's put on at least 15 to 20 pounds. And as you can see, his body fat percentage is still low. So a good amount of that weight that he put on is definitely muscle and that physique in five years is very doable and it's also a great transformation let's check out a little bit on how he trained and obtained his physique all right i found an article from gq breaking down brad pitt's workout plan it says that brad pitt did four consecutive days of resistance training followed by cardio based on a training routine targeting only one muscle group per day monday chest tuesday back wednesday shoulders thursdays biceps and triceps friday and saturday cardio and sunday he would rest as a lot of you may be aware already there's a lot of different ways to program your workout routines you can have a pull push split body building split there's a lot of different ways to do it as for his diet he was eating about three real meals a day with three smaller snacks totaling just under 2,000 calories a day and he prioritized protein as every meal had a good portion of it let's take a look at some of his workout routines cardio he would be on the treadmill for one hour at 80 to 90 percent his max heart rate his chest day is actually five exercises for three sets each exercise push-ups he does three sets of 25 reps bench press progressive overload three sets of 25 at 165 15 reps at 195 and then eight reps at 225 that's actually not that bad. If you can bench eight reps for 225 at 155 pounds, I say that's a decent amount of strength. Then he goes into the Nautilus press, the incline press, and the pec deck. This is a decent workout, but I would like to see at least one antagonist exercise into this routine. Throwing in an antagonist exercise is not only going to help prevent injury, but it's also going to allow you to push harder. This is interesting. I don't know if it's a typo. On Wednesday, he has shoulders, and every other exercise seems to have a progressive overload, meaning increasing in weight with every single set. But on shoulders, he doesn't. He just has three sets at the same amount of weight, and he only has three exercises. That's Arnold press, laterals, and frontal raises. Although those three exercises are really good, I definitely don't think this is the best shoulder workout. This routine actually neglects your rear delts, which are part of your shoulders, and it's often a beginner mistake that someone will create a shoulder workout with a bunch of shoulder exercises, but still not target all three heads effectively in your shoulders. That's what's going to give you a well-rounded, complete shoulder workout. Another thing that I noticed is that there's no leg day. I hope Brad Pitt's not skipping leg day, but I'm getting this workout off of GQ, so... Who knows? Either way, as far as the upper body goes and what we can see, Brad Pitt has had an insane body transformation and he's inspired millions of people around the world to get in shape and start working out, including me. If I had to rate this transformation, I would give it about an 8.5. The only reason why he's not getting a solid 10 is because I believe he could have added on a little bit more muscle mass and possibly been a bit leaner within five years of training. But at the end of the day, he achieved his goal for his specific role. And even then, still one of the best transformations. Let's move on to the next person. All right, next up we have Wiz Khalifa, an iconic rapper that first broke back in 2010 2011 with his hit black and yellow i remember back in the day at least in miami you would pull up at a red light and everybody was playing that song now Wiz khalifa is known for having a physique of being really tall and skinny very similar to snoop dogg but that's what makes his transformation even crazier in just four years apparently he was able to put on 35 pounds of muscle going from 140 pounds to 175 pounds pretty much as much as i weigh at six foot four inches for those of you that don't know if you're taller it is a lot harder to put on the appearance of muscle mass if you're shorter all of that muscle is going to look a lot more compact but the taller you are the more your muscles lengthen out and the leaner you look 
regardless of how much muscle you actually have. So taking a look at his before picture really quick, it's not like he has strong, well-developed abdominal muscles. Everybody has a six pack and it can be visible if your body fat is low enough. Now looking at his arms, shoulders, chest, there's really not that much development. He really hasn't put on any muscle yet. So as soon as he starts working out, he's gonna start getting into those beginner gains. And that's why for some people with good genetics that start at a base like this, they often have a really good transformation. Now let's take a look into his after body transformation. What? Okay, that is a serious body transformation right there. I'm impressed, honestly. It's really cool to see him geared up with Muay Thai gloves. I personally love and train Muay Thai as well, and I know it's a sick workout. It's great conditioning and cardio also. Sparring, hitting the bag, drilling, and doing techniques really transforms your body. While simultaneously developing a skill to defend yourself, I would love to see Wiz Khalifa in the ring. Who do you guys think would be the best matchup for Wiz Khalifa? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think he should fight Blueface. I think he would knock him out easy. What do you think? <laughs> Yo, for sure. All right, so right off the bat, what you can see about this body transformation, muscle definition, well-rounded cap shoulders, a very well-developed chest, well-defined traps, and that really helps with the physique and appearance of your upper body. And training Muay Thai and boxing, basically punching a lot and really hard is really gonna develop your traps as well. According to this article from Bleach Report, Wiz Khalifa actually got into training because of MMA. He wanted to learn how to fight to be able to defend himself. And apparently it was from the training and the conditioning that he was able to transform his body. And that makes sense and that's very possible. If you've ever walked into an MMA or boxing gym, you'll see a lot of people with great physiques that barely even weight train and mainly just focus on their combat sports. Honestly, it looks like he's tripled in size, but this is still a very obtainable physique. And this should definitely motivate you and inspire you if you don't look like this and start training now. It can happen in just four years and the four years are gonna pass by anyway. If I had to give a rating for Wiz Khalifa's transformation, i will probably give it about a 9.5. That was an amazing body transformation, especially because he's training not just for his appearance and to look strong, but actually to apply his strength and develop a skill simultaneously. And in just four years, he was able to develop a physique that most people dream of. So shout out to Wiz Khalifa with an amazing transformation. You're inspiring millions of people out there, brother. And if you're ever in Miami, let's catch a workout. Now we're going to be doing someone that is short, but still an absolute legend. That's going to be Kevin Hart, one of the greatest comedians of this generation. Generation. I grew up watching his stand-ups. I think he's hilarious and I've also been watching him make his body transformation throughout the years. Personally, I think he's made a lot of progress. I've watched him lose a lot of body fat, put on a decent amount of muscle and I've even seen he's had an interest in calisthenics. But first, let's check him out before his transformation. So looking at Kevin Hart just starting off, he had a bit of muscle but he definitely had a lot of body fat. Now checking out Kevin Hart's physique four and a half years later, he looks 100% different. I'm really proud of him for making this transformation. As before, you could not see any abdominal definition at all. In fact, he had a lot of body fat on him. And after he has a whole six pack, some could argue an eight pack, and you can see his obliques on the side popping out, but he doesn't make the mistake of just having a low body fat percentage. You can see the striations in his shoulders, chest, well-developed traps. You can see his lats popping out as well. And his body is proportionate, showing that he has a very effective, well-rounded workout routine. And as you can see, there's a recurring theme on what makes these body transformations significant. Having some decent traps, having your lats developed, having some really nice capped shoulders, and a low body fat percentage, which is gonna tie everything else in together, allow you to see more muscle definition, that's gonna give you the appearance of a solid upper body, that upside down V taper look. Remember, you have to actually train your abs as well, not just lower your body fat percentage and expect to have a crazy shredded physique. Now let's check out how he made this body transformation. You can see a lot of these exercises are body weight exercises. Does a bit of functional training. He also does some goblet squats. Those are a great exercise, do those a lot. So you can see he's doing some full body exercises. Now what I like about Kevin Hart's workouts is that he does a lot of different functional stuff and a lot of the exercises are focused on his core. And if you're trying to make a really good transformation, then body weight exercises are going to be one of those key components. 90% of them are compound exercises, so you're going to be using multiple muscle groups at once, burning more calories, and building more muscle simultaneously. If you don't yet have a solid foundation or base, then you don't really need to prioritize isolation exercises. So we can see Kevin Hart doing some boxing, great form of cardio, and as I said before, burns out your shoulders, your traps, your arms, gets you absolutely shredded, and actually turns you into performing like an athlete. Yeah, Kevin Hart is an absolute beast, and you can really see the progress he's made over the years. First, he starts off with some basic exercises, push push-ups, pull-ups, and then you can see he's starting to get into L-sit pull-ups, weighted leg raises, bicycle chin-ups, even starts getting busy on the bar with some muscle-ups. He just goes straight from a comedian to an athlete. I love to see that. Especially to see Kevin Hart doing some muscle-ups, that just made my day. He's mainly working with compound body weight exercises that are gonna build lean muscle while simultaneously burn a lot of fat and calories. And if you're at that stage, that's actually what you're gonna wanna be focusing on. A lot of people end up getting lost in just trying to create more muscle mass and size. While they should actually be prioritizing reducing their body fat, which is not only gonna help the appearance of your physique and more visible muscle 
muscle definition, but it's also going to improve your performance, which is going to allow you to last longer and do more repetitions, which is going to result in more progress, more muscle, and just being healthier overall. If you're consistent, you take your training seriously and you have the right programming, you will see results no matter what. What I love about Kevin Hart and his transformation specifically, not only do you see his physique improve, but you actually start to see his skills improve as well. And that's something that I stress all the time. Sometimes when you're busy in the gym working out or doing bodybuilding style training, you may be developing more strength, but not necessarily any extra skill because you're always doing the same exercises in a comfortable position, just adding more weight. Of course, it takes some skill to bench and squat, but you're always doing the same exercise over the years and you're never applying that new strength to anything new, which would otherwise develop your skill set. But overall, shout out to Kevin Hart. You just proved that calisthenics really gives that calisthenics build. If you really want to have a solid physique and not just looking strong, actually being strong, you're really going to need to apply some type of calisthenics training into your regimen. Now, if I had to rate Kevin Hart's body transformation, I would give him at least a solid eight. He still has a bit of excess body fat or water retention on him, but he also came a long way and burnt a lot of body fat in the process while simultaneously developing some strength and skill. So shout out to Kevin Hart. You're absolutely killing it, brother. I've been tuned in this whole time and one day we definitely got to get some muscle ups in. All right, coming up next is a celebrity who's an actor that takes his roles very seriously and has extreme dedication. We're talking about Christian Bale. He started in American Psycho, Batman, Machinist. In fact, all of those movies, he had very crazy, drastic transformations. So let's take a look at some of those physiques. All right, so checking out Christian Bale in 2001, he had never stepped foot in a gym before, but apparently he was determined to beat Leonardo DiCaprio for the casting of American Psycho. So he began training relentlessly. Now, if you see the physique of Christian Bale, this guy looked like a bodybuilder. You can really tell that he put in the work and put in the hours. His arms are insanely jacked. He has a crazy six pack. His chest is very developed from the bottom, upper and split, and his body is very proportionate. This is actually the ideal physique for most people. Fast forward to 2004, Christian Bale is starring in The Machinist and he is seen dangerously skinny. According to a Men's Health article, he was able to do it with a brutal black coffee fast and was able to drop 56 pounds in four months on a diet of one apple and a tin of tuna per day. Christian Bale ended up at 119 pounds at six feet tall. Now that is an insane body transformation, but it doesn't stop there. After The Machinist, immediately started bulking up in training. And in just six months, Christian Bale was back up to 185 pounds. And you can really see it in his physique in the Batman movie from 2005. In the article, it states that Christian Bale mentioned that he was overdoing it a bit and he was on a dirty bulk. He put on a lot of muscle, but he definitely put on a lot of fat as well. If he would have done it with cleaner and healthier nutrition, he would have been a lot more shredded, but he also admits that as well. Fast forward to 2009, Christian Bale drops from 189 pounds to 176 to play John Connor in Terminator Salvation. Then dropped all the way down to 143 to portray a professional boxer in the movie, The Fighter. And in order to achieve this, according to the article from Men's Health, Christian Bale said that he was just running like crazy. Specifically, he said, I could just run for hours on end. Then after that, Christian Bale was ready to hit the gym again to prepare for his movie, The Dark Knight Rises. And as you can see in the Dark Knight film, he's put back on size, he has a great physique and a significant amount of muscle development. Now he does another movie called American Hustle where he gained weight again for his role, stacking on another 43 pounds, going from 185 pounds to 228. It may not be the normal goal for a body transformation, but it is definitely an impressive and drastic body transformation in the sense where he is going all out for his role. Going from a very desired and impressive, pretty much superhero physique to severely overweight, as well as going severely underweight as he's done in the past. If I had to give Christian Bale a rating for his body transformations, I would give him at least a 9.5, simply because of the dedication and ability that he has to completely change his body, really doing whatever it takes to achieve the body that's gonna fit his role specifically. But of course, the way that he did it, I definitely wouldn't recommend. Even he said himself that he was yo-yo dieting, dirty bulking, and not using the best methods as he was trying to accomplish all these different types of physiques in a really short amount of time. But to be able to make so many drastic body transformations over the years, just to play a role in a movie, that takes an insane amount of dedication. And that's why I have nothing but the utmost respect for Christian Bale. You're an absolute legend. I love all the movies you made and hopefully we can train together one day. And that's actually gonna wrap up today's video. If there was someone that you would have liked to see that wasn't in the video, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll add them into the next one. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. You know I appreciate that so much. And it helps YouTube share my videos to more people out there. So to show my appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some Harry Apparel. And if you'd like to make your own transformation, then definitely download the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. You'll get full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs that I create with specific goals in mind, like burning fat and getting shredded while simultaneously building some solid lean muscle and not just looking strong, actually being strong. So download the Harry Pro app and have me as a personal trainer right in your pocket. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following my Instagram and TikTok. I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following, you're liking, and you're commenting. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. Mad love, peace out.